Hi, I'm Scott, your SKS Video Guy. Well, today, you're going to be terminated. Hi there, and welcome to my channel. Well, today, we're going to be tackling the Terminator. Now, the original file that I downloaded was from a guy in Greece named Spank. However, I think the original model was designed by Machia in Canada. And when you download that file, it prints this size right here. In this video, I want to show you how I went from this to this bigger one and show you how I installed the red LED lights in the eyeballs. So, here's how I did it. We started by taking the original model into Tinkercad and enlarging it to 140%. So why 140%? Well, that's as large as I can make it and still get it to fit on my build plate on my X1 Carbon. Then I asked my friend Royce to help me install the tubing. Royce is faster at Tinkercad than I am. The tubes go from the inside of the eye right back to a central tube that we put in that runs the length of the spine all the way to the bottom and goes out the bottom of the model. As you can see in the slicer here, where the tubes are that you put the wires in. We then added a modifier to the base to allow us to print the base at 15% infill and the top part 10% infill. I then added some adaptive layering to the top of it to smooth it out. It takes two days to print this and the vast majority of a full roll of filaments. Here you see the eye tubes going in. You don't have to use any supports, however there are some supports built into the model itself along the jawline. And this is how it comes out of the printer. I used PLA, however you can use PETG or ABS, whichever you prefer but a nice glossy black works very well. After it's printed, you want to use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the supports along the jawline. Then you need to mask off any parts that you don't want to get scratched, marred, or any extra paint on it. I use this liquid masking film for the tight little areas. It goes on mint green, but it dries clear. Next, use some 120 grit paper on a block to sand down any extra layer lines, progressing to finer grits as you go along, and then wipe it down. Now it's time for paint. I use Silver Leaf Rub and Buff, and all you have to do is just load some of this up onto your spongy. Spongies are basically sponges on the end of a stick. You can get them at a, all the craft supply stores and online. You just swipe it on there, and if you swipe across it just right, you can get it to accentuate the panel lines that are in it and raise them up. You can use a regular paintbrush also to get into the cracks and crevices that you can't reach with the spongy. This stuff cleans up with mineral spirits. Give it a little time to dry and then buff it up with a dry cloth. If you don't want it to be shiny and you want it to be more of a bare metal look, then don't buff it. The one on the right has not been buffed, the one on the left has been buffed. It depends on the look that you're going for. Next up are the LEDs. I added about four or five inches of extra 24 gauge wire so that it would extend down and out the bottom of the model. And then added some shrink tubing to it. These are three millimeter nine to 12 volt LEDs, red. Then just insert them into the eye socket. I've added some white foam rubber around it to help center it into the model and help hold it in place. You can add a little glue to secure it. Then pull the excess wire out the bottom and attach a little 9 volt square battery box that has a little switch on the side to allow you to turn it on and off. Once it's hooked up, give it a try, make sure everything's working good. Then insert the battery box up inside the model. I then cut off about a 2 inch piece of this foam insulation. I got this at the hardware store and it's a type that you use to put around your hot water piping. It fits in perfectly. We then designed these contact lenses. This is made out of transparent PLA red using 100% infill, making them solid and no supports except for an outside brim. And I added a little adaptive layering on top to smooth it out. Next, apply some glue around the eye socket. The glue I use is this tacky glue I got from the Dollar Tree store. I use this so it allows me to release the contacts if I ever have to maintain the LEDs without destroying them. Then put the contact lenses on and let them dry. Then give it one final check to make sure everything lights correctly. And lastly, to seal and protect the rub and buff, I used this clear Rust-Oleum that I got from the hardware store. You can also get it at Walmart too. Just spray on a nice even coat to protect it. Once it's dry, you can remove the masking. Once it's done, sit back and admire your handiwork. I think these things just look awesome.
So, pretty neat, huh? I think it's really awesome. So, I'd like to thank my friend Royce for helping me with the project. I'm going to take and I'm going to upload these STL files up to my printables account up there, SKS Video Guy, so you can download the models and the contacts for yourself and print them one of these for yourself. Also list the materials and links and stuff that I used. I'll also put those links down in the description below. I had a good time making these for sure. Obviously I made a bunch of them during the filming of this. Now, here's the fun part. Would you like to win one of these? If you do, here's how you do it. Okay, there's some rules. Only one entry per person. If you put more of them in it, the randomizer 5000 is just going to kick any extra ones out. Also, it's going to be limited to the continental United States. I'm sorry, I'm not going to send this thing overseas. So, all you have to do to win this is comment below the words, terminate me. That's it, terminate me. And then I will pick a random num uh, name out of that and they'll be the winners. I'll announce that. I'll make a video on a post that say December the 1st, 2023 and announce who the winner is. Now, obviously, if you're watching this video after that date, the contest is going to be over. So just ignore that part. But the STL links and all the product links should still be active back then. So that's about it for this video here. Good luck, guys. And until next time, I'm Scott, your SKS video guy. And I'll be back.